Alright, welcome everyone. The update is coming soon for Arcane Odyssey, which Vetex said, uh, where is it? Sometime next weekend. So, right now it's Saturday. This is the next weekend because it was posted on April 12th. And today is like what? April 22. It should come out by the time I like release this video anyways. But it's just nice knowing what the update is. So we're gonna be getting I think it's better if I show you guys the to-do list. We will be getting underwater structure and diving points, which is the main thing, like feature-wise. Besides <laughs> besides the nerf. Oh, <laughs> oh man. If you guys have been playing the game. Pulsar magic has been dominating mostly, so it's getting nerfed. That's great. Um, damn, we're no longer spamming. Kind of sucks though. Um, yeah, we can no longer spam. That's great. Um, but we have a lot of things added right now. I can show you guys. Watch this. But it, it's just okay. It's like this 31, 11.31 update. That's really big. But the rest below that, okay. It's just like potions, breeding potions, right? Minecraft, you know, and a bunch of water structure, which we were talking about earlier. Diving points sounds fun, and water structures might be fun. Um, I know they're gonna have sharks and whatever. I'm just summarizing for you guys. If you guys just want to know what's out, I guess, or if you already know, you can just yeah, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. Um, read it for yourself if you wanna go faster, but. Yeah. Uh, what the hell is this change? Remove the energy drain from Aura and Focus. I guess they had an energy drain before. Um, it's still being changed. But update is coming out soon. Um, <laughs> imagine adding drain and then removing it again. That's funny. That's funny, but I'll take it. It's doubly for mages. And like berserkers. Because the focus is for berserker. <clears throat> And then change the formula for power and aura focus. That means it's getting nerf, I think. Right? I don't know. It just means it has different multiplier now. That might be in like the <clears throat> official changes, like document, like the exact number, right? So it's not in Trello, unfortunately. Um and then dodging now has exhaust system that triggers. Oh shit. Um you cannot spam dodge anymore. Okay. Reduce AOE of increase of weapon aura. So that's for warrior. You only get 10% increase now. And then weapon aura now gives 10% attack speed to all weapon skills. Okay, so warrior got more attack speed and you know, with that, the AOE decreased a little bit. I don't know about attack speed. Attack speed doesn't seem that useful right now. I don't know. Maybe for berserkers now it's because you get more range, I believe. If you have more attack speed then. <clears throat> I'm saying too many things today, but... Fighting style imbued into weapon skill. Now add 0 0.15 to damage affinity. Affinity? Uh, of a Oh, wait. Instead of 0 0.25. So... Okay, I mean, it... The fighting style imbuement got decreased in terms of damage by like 10%? Yeah, 10% basically. Um, okay. Change the patch fight and frozen status effect duration to 1 second. So it increased it 0 0.3 second. That's like 30% increase. Not, well, not really, but it's more than that. It's like, what? It's almost 50% increase in terms of. Whatever, I don't know, man. But we're just gonna get more... So Frozen, like, Sunken Soar, uh, Imbuement, uh, Fro Frozen Conjure is now a little bit better. Yes. Mm -hmm. Crystallized Damage Boost after it's stacked is now 30% instead of 35%. Oh, wow. Crystal got nerfed? Come on. Damn it, dude. Oh, but in exchange... It can no longer be removed by any magic. Not that anybody removes the debuff anyways, but... Uh-huh. Oh, wait. Okay. Okay, it has more. And instead gives a damage boost synergy for magic that used it to remove it. What? What does that even mean? 
So like you're get you're like damaging yourself if you remove it. Like what what does this mean? Like that's a little bit. I don't know. Uh, let's just move on. Um, <laughs> I don't really get it. But ice magic now applies frozen on its own if it does thirty percent of your health or more, right? Okay. Glass cannon ice magic user. Let's go. Increased damage boost of earth, metal, lightning, crystal magic when hitting frozen target by 10%. Like 10% more, so now it does 30% total. Reduce defense of falling armor set by 10%. Titanium, Ravonis, and Shurion. Okay, I mean, let's see. Lion, Ravon. Oh shit, the boss armor is getting nerfed too. Oh shit, Sunken armor is getting nerfed. And Cernix armor. Okay, all the defense armor is getting nerfed, basically. God dang it. Reduce attack size and agility by the crown from the king and cape by 18%. Oh shit. King's gear got nerfed too, like the accessories. Um, wow, that's a lot of nerfs. Increase amount of stand given by following items by 45%. Uh, amount of stats? All attack size amulet, all attack speed amulet, all in ten Oh no. All agility? Everything besides power is getting buff? No fucking way. 45%? Dude. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do, boys? I have to make an update video. <laughs> Shit, I gotta do more magic size? I hope I don't have to. Okay, if, it's, if it goes above 250 magic size, I'm gonna redo the video. <laughs> God damn it. I think this is a cap though. For the magic size, I don't know. Okay, fire magic size got increased for okay, 5%. Is it 5%? Like 5% damage increase? I think so, yeah. And the explosion magic speed got reduced by 15%. Oof. Basically. Um now it's a 0 0.8 speed. Ugh. I don't know if you guys know what that means, but it's slower. <laughs> Glass magic rubble size increase of 50%. Okay, more rubble. I don't know how that works. Maybe intensity will work with it. Um, ice magic damage got increased by 2.5%. Okay. And lightning got buffed by. Oh my god. That, what is that number? Oh my god. It's 0, 0.0. God. Lightning magic got buffed a tiny teensy bit. You know, you'll get like 5 damage increase or something. <laughs> Like, if you have max power or something. Like, 5 or 10. 5 or 10. But yeah. Magma Magic got nerfed by 2.5%. Okay. Uh-huh. Poison Magic size increase. Okay. I mean, they're fine. Like, I don't think they're, like, major changes. Oh, wait. Light Magic now gets 2% damage for each blind status effect. So, it's like a crystal effect. It stacks now. But except the light, it will do more damage, like, with each hit, so that's really cool. And maximum, you can have 10%, so that's 5 hit. That's really good. That's really good. I can see how it could be good, right? I don't know, maybe. Maybe maybe it will be good. Light doesn't so Like, light has low base percentage. Like, not percentage. Low base damage. In general, so even if you put a 10% increase to that base power, it wouldn't increase much anyways because its base power is literally like, n n it's nothing, bro. Oh my god, like it looks good, but it's probably not that good. So, yeah, um, reduce the snare spell damage by 21%. Oh shit, I never used that spell, but it's like that ultra, not I mean, tran instant transmission thing. Yeah. I do you guys even use it? Like, mage? Conjurers? Hello? I don't think conjurers use it, but... Mage? Hello? I, I don't think we use it, right? <laughs> oh. I'm just eating a chicken nugget, because I got exhausted just reading. Anyway. Or spell cooldown and duration reduced by 10 seconds. Okay. Okay. Fine. I mean, it's okay. Attack speed now affect the moving speed of oh, crack. Oh, shit! That's really good. That's really good. And spiraling fairy for like the yeah. the spiraling move is for the dagger. My bad. Apologies. I don't know why I started eating. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm not making you guys hungry. No, no, no. You don't get it. 
but yeah, it seems like Berserker got buff in terms of technique for Crash and Smash because Smash technique got reduced end lag and it already has low end lag to begin with. Smash is gonna be OP for like, <clears throat> yeah, for any strength users out there because it's a common move. And then bug fixes the strong enchant doesn't affect damage of ship attachments. Oh, I guess that's the thing for in like testing or something. Okay, fine. Drinkable water potion cannot be brewed at cauldrons. Yeah, that's what we were talking about earlier. Made by adding seaweed and any catalyst shore items. So like, you can pick these items up at the beach and whatever, right? So the catalyst can be clams. Oh shit, pearls and golden. Shit, bro, I sold so many of these pearls. Oh my lord. Okay, don't sell pearls, guys. I mean, I'm. I love that. Uh, it's too late now. Already sold like 10, 10, 20, you know, whatever. God. Each tier of shore item make a different tier of drinkable potion. Yeah, so I assume like for clams, pearls, golden pearl. Golden pearl would be the best, so. Yeah. Different tier gives different potency, like duration, and like, oh, uh, affects the length of the effect given in a sense. Okay, so, longer, and I don't know if it makes it stronger, right? Oh, excuse me. Um, we only have water breathing, so, water breathing, you don't need to make it like stronger. You can't make water breathing stronger, you just make it like, you know, last longer. Minecraft potion? You guys do any Minecraft potion? It's like that basically. Um, yeah, so Golden Pro is gonna give us 1.5 times potency, like in terms of effects length basically. For now, for now. Um, each tier water breathing decreased the amount of air your air drains. Ah, my bad. Starting at 50% less drain at tier 1. All the way to no drain at tier 5. Okay. So tier 5 I assume is exotic. I'm not sure. There's only 4 types of item. We got common, uncommon, rare, and exotic, right? I guess you could technically make legendary one. So that would be tier 5. With like, Sun Caraway. Is this plant that you can get at the uh, Sandfall Isle. Which can make... It increase a tier by reducing the length of the effect for like food and whatever. I don't know if you can use it on cauldrons, but I'm just saying you could probably just do that if you want like maximum tier breathing. Hold on. <clears throat> Anyways, um had to talk to my mom. Um yeah, life happens. But yeah, drink a duplicate potion you drink will stack its duration with your current effect. Okay, drinking can stack. Yeah, I'm not sure. There's a lot of potions going on. I'll just skip over it a little bit. Um, nothing is too crazy. I'll let you guys know. <laughs> but yeah, um... But yeah, uh, server not automatically shut down after 12 hours since memory leak was unable to be found. I don't know what that means. It's like a developer thing, and I don't... I'm a gamer! I never... I don't make games, I play games. Yes. I don't know what I was trying to say there, but yes. Anyway, spear trident whatever blast shape got increased in terms of damage by 5%. Not bad, not bad. Trident may be better. Um X slash blast shape. Okay, all of these are shape magic for mages. It got decreased. Okay, the um, it got a buff, now it reduced only 20% damage instead of 30%. And then reduce all blast size. No, all blast shape plus 25%. Wait, what? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, the wording was a little bit weird. Basically, it got decreased by 10% in terms of size, right? For all the blast shape. So you can't spam it. <coughs> Magic size, you know. Yeah. Uh, definitely was not doing that. Yup. I'm not guilty. I am innocent. I am friendly man. I would never abuse power like that. But yeah. Shape speed multiplier now affects explosion spell star time more. Okay. Uh, 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 
uh, hello guys, we're gonna start spamming more explosion. I know certain people like spamming explosions. I'm not naming anyone, but you know who you are. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not judging. Uh, explosion is good. Now you're gonna have to spam more, cause yay speed multiplier. I love it. Hey. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I never usually use the speed multiplier. But yeah. Uh, magic speed affinity nice. Okay. Oh, it also affects affects the end lag. Oh shit. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Magic speed for explosion build might be really good now. I'm gonna try that out. Magic explosion speed. Like just doing that because. And like startup time, if you reduce both of them, that means like no cooldown at all, right? Which sounds crazy. Sounds crazy. Ultimate R explosion spell size boost is reduced from 45 to 30 percent. And then self explosion spell with multiple duration are now smaller. Oh, same thing with this place explosion. Oh. Reduce power or potency by 25%. I guess it got, you know, nerfed by 25%. It's so weird. They say potency. I don't really know what that means. Like, how it affects it, right? It's a little bit weird. But yeah, power or spell damage multiplier is now multiplied it by the magic damage affinity. Okay, so what this means is that if you have metal magic, you'll get the highest multiplier. Because it's like what? 1.2 or 1 times like in terms of damage it's like one of the highest right besides earth magic yeah and there's one more i forgot there is one more that has the highest damage but i forgot so and it, when if you're light magic user and you're using power aura it won't affect you that much because yeah it's based on the magic affinity which is a weird word but okay okay Good for you, metal user. You're like barely affected. Great. I I'm a metal user technically too. Uh, what am I anymore? I have way too many files. But yeah, we still have so many. Okay, guys. I'm just gonna summarize it. It's gonna be like 30 minutes, and I don't want that. But reduce aura spell potency. Okay. Resistant aura got nerfed. Shit, bro. My max HP bow. No. Okay. I just like speed read it a little bit. And then changes to magic health affinities. Oh man, more multiplier changes basically. So like the different magic, it got changed. That's unfortunate. And speed aura got nerfed too. Okay, your cast speed is gonna be slower now. Great. Magic speed affinity now. Okay, it's okay. Affects speed aura spell by half as much. Man, well, er all the aura is getting nerfed, guys. Bursting option is getting removed, so that means, like, the damage aura, like AoE aura, AoE damage aura is getting removed, unfortunately. Nobody uses it, or at least not right now. And reduce pulse damage of pulsar. And A oh my god, pulsar is getting nerfed. Let's go! AoE and damage get nerfed by 30%. That's crazy. Damn, it's getting nerfed to the ground. It's getting star up lag, 30%. End lag, 25%. And it depends on magic speed affinity. So, it means if your magic speed, for that, your magic, right? The slowest, I'm using metal again, by the way. Metal and light. Slowest is metal. So, it will be slow now. Slower, probably. And light will be really fast. So, I mean, that's fine. Because... With Pulsar, the slower your speed, the better in terms of close range combat. Like, you're not using Pulsar to snipe people. It's a close range move anyways. So, uh-huh, uh-huh. Cooldown got increased for Pulsar. Great. Reinstalled air stall to cannon fist throw. So we can throw in mid-air. Great. I hope there's no bugs with that. Oh boy, getting stuck. <laughs> using spells now charge thermal fist heat. Okay, so I guess for like, uh, Warlocks, so if you like use spells, right, normal spell, just blast tag, explosions, blah blah. Um, a lot of boxing damage got increased, basic boxing speed, boxing size, I just name it, right, because it would take forever. <laughs> Cannon fist damage increase, right, 
all these are increased, right guys? Double check, yes, all of them are increased. Cannon fist damage increase, iron leg damage increase. Wait! Why would they do that? Shit, guys? Shit? Like, it's like, uh, 12.5? No. 12 point, yeah, 12.5 times... No, 12... 12.5% 12 increase in terms of iron leg. That's crazy. That's a lot. That's a lot. And it's size. Oh, wait, decrease in size. Okay, I don't really care about that one. <laughs> increase thermal fist damage, uncharge, and charge by... So overall, it got 10% increase, it looks like. Not bad, not bad. Uh-huh, uh... Thermal fist heat drain grace period got increase. Wait. Okay, wait, did it get increase or did it get, did it get nerf? It, it said 2s into 0.5x. Like, what does that mean? <laughs> did someone make a, like, a mistake here? Like, what, what, what happened here? I think it's like... I think it should be an increase. Uh, I don't know. I, uh, this okay. Thermal fist is weird, but I assume it's good. Maybe I, I have no clue. Um, that confused me just by reading it. But yeah, increase thermal fist heat gain. Nice. Okay. Settler fist size damage and add a visual. Now max at seventy percent. What does that mean? Like. So there's a cap for how much damage and like size you can have again. Weird, okay. Damage got increased. Yeah, all of them got increased by like 10%, I believe. That's crazy. Reduce sea water bottle hunger loss from 20 to 5. Decrease sea water bottle drinking time by 20%. Okay, they're trying to make Sailor Fist more viable. Good, good, good. And crash gets damage resistant, like 20% damage resistant. You take less damage, great. Uh-huh. Attack speed no longer affects. Okay, if you okay, you, it's updating on like the crash from earlier. God damn it, dude. Okay, agility affects crash speed and spiraling fury. It's like attack speed, apparently. Oh wait. Oh I, I, <laughs> I mean, it makes sense, but yes, okay, whatever. It is so confusing, man. Oh my god. Focus technique and spell or spell energy drain. Same rate. Pulse awakening spells? Oh. Oh, wait, no, they removed energy drain earlier. Oh my god, all these changes are confusing me. But yeah, um, reduce potency of focus. Techniques, okay, whatever. Vindicator minimum level from 120 to 80. So, um, weapon? Conjures? Users? I mean... Oh wait, no, that's like weapon level. I thought it was like... Like the stats you require to use it. So that kind of sucks, maybe? I don't know. I'm not sure if they're talking about the weapon level itself, or if like, the skill. Like, the weapons. Stat level, yes. Yeah, I'm a little bit confused on that. But, I mean, at least we know it's getting reduced, so we can use it a little bit better now. If that's the word, my vocabulary is decreasing. And whirlwind, oh, what's whirlwind again, guys? I forgot what's whirlwind. It might be like a range attack increase for like AoE increase by 33%. So, some melee weapon is getting buffed. And some can source rising tide, increase the force, and reduce it end line by 20%. I don't know what I mean by increase the force, but okay, whatever. More jump height probably. Um, and increase damage by 10%. I mean, it's fine. Some can source a little bit better now. I don't see it being like any better, maybe. Besides, if you put attack speed. So maybe, maybe it will be better. Like. Warriors, Conjurers in general will have an easier time now. Sounds nice. Decrease knockback final hit of Tiger Rush. Not that anybody used that anyways, because hit boss ass. <laughs> and then short draw flash strike. Should oh my god, whatever. Now she's sure saying cooldown to prevent spam. Okay. The da all the dash moves, right? Yeah. It got 
share with the same cooldown, so you can't spam it. All right, fine, 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 whatever. Increase AOE of the Shining Cycle. It's like a small AOE move, but now it might be a little bit bigger. Um, usually, if you have the Holber from the Argo boss, that's usually where people use this move from. Like, yeah. And then increase the projectile speed of flying slash. Okay. Whatever that means. Um, I don't know what that weapon is, but I forgot, right? But increase cooldown of Tempest. That's like a big self AOE. Like, it's a, it's a tornado on yourself. That's the weapon. It's the Greatsword weapon, Tempest move. Yeah, I hope, hopefully I didn't make it too confusing. Also, the video is reaching 30 minutes, and I don't know if you guys want to watch 30 minutes. I mean, you guys can read it if you want, but... <laughs> I'm just expressing my opinions that are irrelevant. Oh, but yeah. Remove knockback from initial slam of seismic slash. Okay, I mean, that's good. And then increase is throw, thrown robo size by 33% okay so that's for the Holbert by the way from Argos again is that Holbert? yeah that is the Holbert cause I was thinking of the Lance and Holbert forgot ton and Rage Impact forgot what that is not that important but 40% damage making that's a lot I don't know what that move is but hey nice that's probably the Lance move cause there's a theme going on here yeah, increased hitbox size, a brutal rush, grab star. I think that's the lance again. I don't use the lance, guys. I can't. I don't remember. Decrease AO the AOE of piercing shot, and decrease its cooldown from 10 seconds to 9 seconds. I don't think that helps. That's the spear AOE move. I mean spear projectile. If you guys use the spear, that's where piercing shot came from, I believe. But yeah, aiming spells technique for the max flank. Now increase attack size. AO. Okay, so if you charge it, right? If you charge certain spell and technique, it increase attack size AOE. By oh wait, it got nerfed. My bad. It got nerfed from fifty percent to thirty three percent. Okay, I mean, I don't think anybody charges their move that much. Sometimes good though, to like change up the pace. But yeah, all damage and size multiplier now add on to each other instead of multiplying on top of each other. What does that mean? Okay, if you add on to each other and multiplying on top of each other. Brain? Brain? My, my brain. I guess maybe it's like the base stat times that multiplier and then it adds damage and size together after now it's like everything all at once bro i'm confused like these formulas for like i'm i'm no expert but okay change the formula for i i don't know we're gonna have to see how it works like i can't visualize it right now so i can't tell you guys much <laughs> maybe you guys can tell me actually I need help, please. <laughs> Explain. But increase health restore on player guild to, to from thirty five percent to fifty percent. So that means you can one v a billion now if you're like good at the game. Great! Can't wait for someone to do like one v five video or something. Not that's gonna be possible unless the five people that are fighting that one guy is terrible. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. And increase stamina cost for dodging from 10% to- Oh shit. Dodging is getting- Okay, cooldown increase by 50 Oh shit, bro. That means you can- You cannot spam as much, like dodging. Running from players will be very annoying now. Ah oh, shit. Damn it, dude. I love running away, though. And then combat timer got increased to a minute. Okay, got- It went back to a minute. Shit. Alright, whatever. And damaging player shit while being steer will put both player in combat. Whatever, I mean, sure. Both combat. I don't think people do that a lot nowadays. Not me at least. Maybe some people won't, but. Remove 10% damage through that mage and berserker receive post awakening? Like, you mean like after awakening? <laughs> 
or what is his what's going on anymore but i think that's all like the nerf and change it yeah down below is how like the potion seaweed works right i think it's better if we find out for ourselves you know what screw it <laughs> yeah i'm just gonna read the part that seems the most important so cauldron to some island all right like no cauldron are added to some island which can be used to cook potion obviously and it takes two catalysts per potion brew which means you need two like golden pearl clams or whatever i guess so yeah um and the amount of okay i i don't know what this means but basically the amount of things we add will affect the tier I don't know, this is kind of weird, but I guess it depends on the items that we throw. Yeah, that's a little bit confusing. I think I'm not gonna read it because it would just confuse me more, and I'll if find out when I go into the game. And if you guys figure it out, well, like, what? All these texts are confusing to me because I have no clue how it's gonna work in game, but. I guess I have an idea. Like, there's a catalyst, there's ingredient, throw them together, you get a breathing potion, bada bing, bada boom, you know? Uh huh, that's about it. Um, decreased spawn rate of sharks in general. Yeah. I know we did get some attachment for hunting sharks on the ship. Like, which is the other most important part that I forgot at the beginning of the video. Also, the Easter event. Yeah. But yeah, the, the video is already 30 minutes, guys. I will... If you guys want to read more, link in the description for Trello. Um, I'll see you guys in the update or something. Goodbye.